All right, so being an online creator has its perks and downfalls. It's very trying and stressful to produce new content every week consistently. And then if the YouTube algorithm gods don't shine down upon you, nobody sees your video and it starts a downward spiral of disappointment, stress, and mental fatigue. And a couple of weeks ago, I made a small change to how I approach and produce videos, and it was 10 times less stressful. So in an effort to lead a healthier and happier life, I'm making additional changes to this channel, and I'm going to quit doing specific types of tutorials. Now, as you may know, once upon a time, the majority of the content that I created on this channel was related to GIMP. And at the beginning of this year, I removed all that content. So if you subscribed for GIMP tutorials, you might want to unsubscribe. Now, life is too short and part of the stress I endure is self-made because I do too much, which is why I'm also no longer producing content for Photoshop and Luminar Neo. However, that being said, if you use either of those editing apps, you may want to consider sticking around since most of the content going forward will entail what I've learned over the last 35 years as a pro photographer. This will include pro tips for both beginners and more advanced photographers regarding camera settings, how to use light to shape your images, and how to use the color of light to tell a story. I also have around 30 or so tutorials planned on composition techniques. Also, I'm not quitting Topaz and Lightroom tutorials. They'll just be a smaller sample of the content that I publish going forward. So right now I'm thinking maybe 70 to 75% about photography, 20% Lightroom, and maybe a couple of Topaz, excuse me, a couple of Topaz videos here and there when there are updates that I think are worth sharing. Now, going forward, all of the new content will be designed to help you elevate your photographic skills quickly and easily. So the next question is, will the content be geared toward portraits, landscapes, wildlife photography, or another genre? Well, the goal is to share techniques and skill sets that can be applied to any type of photography. So what I learned as a wedding photographer are the same techniques I now apply to landscapes and wildlife. So I'll have a mix of image examples from all of those. Plus, I have an idea to make it easier to understand key concepts and photography without all the jargon. So if you're excited about the future of this photographic channel and elevating your photographic skills, let me know in the comments what you're most excited to learn. Thanks for listening and have an awesome day.